Welcome to the second video in our series on how to create a Spring SOAP client with Spring Boot. In this video, we will take a look at how to create the insurance client class that will populate an insurance request object and call our SOAP endpoint in order to receive the insurance response object. Our insurance client class will extend the Spring Web Service Gateway Support class, which we are looking at here in the API. It says it's a convenient superclass for application classes that need web services access, requires the factory, the template, and it also offers marshal and unmarshalling properties, which is required when the marshalling method are used and which we are going to be using. Now the first step, looking at our Spring server side SOAP endpoint, we see that we use the core 2.14 release, so we will add this dependency to our client application using the trusty do not do this cut and paste technique. Here we've added it to our Udemy SOAP client. Let's see what happens when we run a Maven clean package. Oh, we don't have our web service up and running, so it's not finding the whistle. So we'll have to do that. So let's run our web service. Tomcat 7 run. Now our web service is up and running. Back to our client. Let's run clean package in our client once again. That looks successful. It ran our source generation and it also ran some of our generated SOAP client application tests. Now we have actually done all the prep work, so now we can move into actually creating our insurance client class. Ready to create our get insurance method. We will create and populate our insurance request using the same test data that we used in our SOAP UI demo. So I will cut and paste some of those XML into this class. Now I'll cut and paste the applicant data and write the code to populate the applicant data. Now we'll add this data to our insurance request. Next up, we will populate the insurance info. Add it once again to our insurance request. Finally, we'll add the widget info from our SOAP UI test. This is the last element we will add to our insurance request.
Now we will get the web service template and marshal and receive our insurance response. This is our SOAP endpoint. We will send in the insurance request. We will use the SOAP action callback. Here we will actually hit the SOAP endpoint. And that's it. Now of course we still need to add some logging here. Thankfully for us the logging packages have been brought in by our Spring Boot dependency in our POM file. We'll log our insurance request here. Now obviously this isn't going to work straight away because we still need to add the serialization that will actually change both the insurance response and the insurance request from objects to XML using the marshal and receive method. Now we are going to create our insurance configuration class, which will enable our insurance client to marshal and unmarshal the insurance request and response objects to and from XML that would be used to hit our SOAP endpoints. Create a new insurance configuration class. This will be annotated as a configuration. Now we are going to define the JAXP2 marshalling bean method. Now we are going to set the context path of our generated classes. Returning our bean. Now we're going to define the marshaller inside our insurance client bean. Here we're going to set the marshaller and the relevant properties inside our insurance client bean. Defining our SOAP endpoint. Setting our marshaller. Setting our unmarshaller. And returning our insurance client bean. Now we are at a point where we've got a working insurance client and it has the necessary beans injected into them. We can alter our Spring Boot application class in order to run our insurance client. This is the generated Spring Boot application, Udemy SOAP client application class. So what we're going to add here is a command line runner bean that will inject and run our insurance client bean. Here we're calling the get insurance method.
let's just write out all our return values from the soap server to the console. see what the problem is here we did not define a bean that looks like it fixed it and now we are actually ready to run just making sure that our actual soap web service is still running it is up and running Let's see what happens when we run our Udemy SOAP client application class. Wow, first time. It ran, it launched the Spring application, it sent in our insurance request, and it returned the hard-coded insurance response with the values in here. Amazing. So now we have a SOAP client using Spring Boot and we have a SOAP web service just using regular Spring. This concludes the final steps in our bonus SOAP client with Spring web services tutorial. I've also added a link in the description of this YouTube video to the full SOAP with Spring playlist and a link to my Udemy course where you will be able to download the accompanying source code in zip file format.